Welcome to A Comic Book Orange. I'm Casey McKinnon, and this is your weekly comic book and graphic novel review show. Hey, Casey, what's up? Oh, I was just about to review issue number four of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, written by Joss Whedon and illustrated by George Jeanty, coming out June 6th from Dark Horse Comics. Well, I have a review for you. Like me, it sucks. <laughs> Stick to the heart. For those who missed the news, Joss Whedon is continuing his hit TV series as a comic book. Though we missed the first three issues, we found the story well on its way, but still easy to pick up. As big Buffy fans, it was like visiting old friends. Whedon's dialogue is as fun as ever, bouncing between the epic and the everyday, and without the constraints of a TV show's special effects budget, he can include more large-scale set pieces. Real large-scale. Still, a lot of understanding and appreciating what is going on is dependent on being a Buffy fan, so we don't know how enjoyable this comic will be to new readers. George Jeanty's art does a competent job of communicating the tale, and at times perfectly captures the look of the characters. Still, it suffers from a certain stiffness, with some panels missing a wow factor you feel should be there. Again, competent, but nothing spectacular. We give Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 8, Number 4, 3 oranges out of 5. Daniel Merlin Goodbury's Last Sane Cowboy and Other Stories was recently published by AIT Planet Lar where... What happened? Oh, the world just unfolded. What? Oh, it's my zit, isn't it? An unfolded world is the reason given for the weird creatures, powers, and situations presented in the stories, but that's only mentioned in the book's notes, and it's not really what these stories are about. In fact, there is not much that unifies these strange stories. Some are funnier than others, some are more action-packed. All are well-written, with dialogue and action moving smoothly along. The writing has the same light, enjoyable quality of Neil Gaiman's work. However, most of the stories aren't that deep, or at least not as deep as they would like to be. The high-contrast 3D-generated artwork has us torn. On the one hand, each panel is well-composed, telling its part of the story. Plus, the strange look matches the nature of the book. On the other hand, the characters look stiff and unattractive, and initially are a distraction. But to be honest, it could just be a personal taste. The Last Sane Cowboy and Other Stories is fine as quick fun reading, but it's hard to recommend as a permanent purchase. We give it two oranges out of five. I'm over here. Down here. Marvel's irredeemable Ant-Man has just hit issue number eight, and regular writer Robert Kirkman is joined by special guest artist, his invincible penciler, Corey Walker. Outside of the superpowers, there is not much connecting the new Ant-Man to the classic hero. In Eric O'Grady, Robert Kirkman has created a perfect jerk of a character. Eric uses his powers to lie, cheat, and steal, and not only does it work out in his favor, but we love him for it. Kirkman's trademark pacing, natural dialogue, and wonderful comedic timing are all present here and are perfect as usual. The comic is very easy for new readers like us to get into, even with it beginning halfway through a story arc. Corey Walker's clean line work is wonderful throughout the entire issue, whether for a simple conversation scene or a dynamic knockout superhero fight. The character's feelings are well conveyed and are half the telling of the tale. We should also applaud the coloring by Bill Crabtree. The bright, smooth shades are a real pleasure for the eyes. The irredeemable Ant-Man comic should be getting a lot more love from you guys. With 4 out of 5 oranges, we highly recommend you start picking it up. Well, that's what we think. Now it's your turn. Go to comicbookorange.com to submit your ratings and reviews for these comics. You can also leave feedback and comments for the show at pulpsecret.com. Finally, if you're a creator or publisher who wants us to review your work, we'd love to hear from you. So send us an email at reviews at comicbookorange.com. This is Casey McKinnon saying... Casey? Casey? Where is she? Mm-hmm. <laughs>